Hey guys, I'm Yoyo. Welcome back to my channel. And this is a week in my life during quarantine and self quarantine. It's just seven day in my life. It's from like every night. Oh, also every night and ten is I speak in Thai, but the rest of the video will be in English. And I will have like the text or like subtitle in the video to like expand in English even though I speak in Thai on April 9 and 10 and the rest from April 11 to 15 it in English. Animal side and what lay, and then gown won't shout to see won't yet. Gown is a bit more. Now go, I won't to see more. Intense mark about the end by what won't. So how about my way? But the gentleman went to my once a part of the bedding. I let come on me, I'll me. วันนี้นั่งซื้อเล่มนี้มาแล้วสั่งไปตั้งแต่วันอาทิตย์ก็วันนี้วันที่สิบสั่งไปตอนวันที่สามเมษาใช่ไหมใช่สั่งไปวัน
so here's what I ate. I have a lot of vegetable. It like I have noodle in it and eggs and the dipping sauce that have like chili, cilantro, garlic and fish sauce and lamb in it, lamb juice in it. And I will have mango sticky rice as my dessert. Because mango with sticky rice. It in the fridge, that's why it's just the sticky rice so hard. I'm so tired today. I just take a nap like one hour and I'm still feeling like dizzy and headache. And it is still, what time is it? 5.50. 5.51 on Saturday. If you will live in. I'm so tired and headache and dizzy and all that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take a shower first and let's see how I feel about it. Now I feel a little bit better after taking a shower. Because at first I was so tired and so sleepy and now my disease go away but I'm still tired. And yeah, I'm gonna clean, clean my room. So I learned about the word pandemic in March because at first I know that word in Thai or we call it Lok Labat but I don't know the word in English I never heard of it before in my life until March 15 the class that I have the class that the professor like least scheduled that we should have that class on March 15 and it is on Sunday and actually that day it like raining and the light in the room went off and the cars supposed to be until like 12 p.m. from 9 to 12 p.m. but it ended up 
finished the class we ended up finished the class at 11 a.m because we can't finish it the light went off the ac went off we can't breathe the ass not good so yeah i learned the word pandemic on that day and after that i have the class on march 15 i was like i hope that march 16 we're not gonna have a class and yes finally my university finally announced that we're not gonna have a class for one week and that's it and i was like whoa one week is not enough and i was like are you sure you're gonna close on only one week but then suddenly on like march 22nd i think like the city like the bangkok city they just announced that okay we're gonna lock down until april 12th which is like soon which is tomorrow right because today is april 11 but then it not they shan the government shan not the city of bangkok the government said that the city of bangkok like the bangkok Bangkok will close until April 30 but at that time at March like 22nd like a lot of people go back to their hometown not leave, not go not staying in Bangkok because it like cost of living here is expensive compared to like other province or something so it starts the spreading of the COVID-19 even more it start getting like to the number of people that get infected touched like at first it's like before in March it's like March 15 in about like 600 500 something and then it ended up getting more and more and now it's like 2000 something already it now it if you and now like the amount of people got infected in Thailand is about 2000 something and yeah and i'm pretty sure my final exam gonna be online too because the course and my university course too until like april 30. or um, maybe i don't know in may what gonna happen like because usually my final exam is in may and if they course until april 30 i don't know what happened even more after that so that's it that's my update about COVID-19 in Thailand. I forget to mention that they have curfew right now too from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. like the curfew that you cannot go and leave the house except you are like medical doctor, nurse or something that related and can help with the hospital and yeah. So I have an assignment that is due on April 12th, but I already turned it in. Which is the video that I may have to make about DNA replication and transcription. So each video must not be over 10 minutes and I make it and I was like for the DNA replication at first I make and the video is only 2 minutes long. And I was like and I'm panicking and I was like this is too short and then i was like mm, i need to make something more so i keep talking and add more script to my information and the slide that i'm presenting in the video and no matter how hard i try it's still there it's still like two two minutes something two minute fifty and then it ended up being for application i ended up add more information and describe more about the dna how it pairing how it did use all that and it ended up for being five minute video so today now it is 9 p.m and i'm eating bananas because i'm so hungry i have dinner at like 4 p.m and i'm so hungry I actually don't know what to eat that's why I ended up with banana
I just miss the fact that we can't go out. Also, I have this peanut too. It not focus again. Why? It focus only on my face and not on peanut. Okay, it is. Is it? Yeah, it focus. It kind of far away a little bit. Yes, peanut. He has me eating peanut. So I try to edit this video that the part that is on GoPro Hilo 8 and the part that on this camera I'll edit later. So now it is 11 p.m. already. I'm gonna go to bed now. Bye, good night. Good morning guys and I know if I turn this back you're gonna see a lot of plastic back but here it is we have this mung bean that my mom bought it mung bean boil in, in water and what is this what is it? have chili and pepper and I don't even know what the lid is hold on I know this one is coffee alarm leaf or in Thai we call it makut but the rest the yellow thing I don't know what it is and you have this tamarind Fish bomb and then I want to um, soy milk and then oh, oh. it lay between. Which it like come in a pair, like a chromosome. And yeah, and oh, okay. here I have my Thai dessert called oh, Hanom Chan. This one, and this one is kind of warm. Which it like sticky, made of, out of sticky rice, coconut milk and have coconut flake on it and maybe water too and food coloring and here is like sugar this one called Hanom Duong but this one is Hanom Chan the reason they call this one Hanom Chan because the word Chan means layer because this one has so many layers this one, the green one, is um, candle or pan. Can you come and see here? You're gonna see they have layer in it. That's why they call it kanom chan. For this one. But this one, I don't know why they call it kanom duong. I have no idea the reason behind this. And 
we can peel the layer of it out. The kanom chan. See? That's why we call it kanom chan in Thai. Because it has many layers. But usually they have more layer than this, but this one that they make that we bought is like only two layers. Two or three la two to three layers. Usually it be like five layers of kanom chan. So we how to eat this kanom duong is that we dip this in coconut milk, then we dip it in sugar, then eat it and now we can eat it. So I already take a shower, so I already finished breakfast, take a shower, and let's go do something else. I need to go work out, exercise. So I have rice noodle with the pie cabbage, lancho, and boil the fish ball in water, and then. Add so this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. Have like this is potak soup, which is similar to tom yum soup but without coconut milk, and in addition of tom yum, eh, potak don't have coconut milk but have holy basil instead of baikapau and we already have coffee alarm leaf lemon gas galangal and imitation cap food fish ball and i gonna have it with noodle rice noodle or sit like small like small chunk of rice noodle if you have like thicker one like bigger one bigger size of noodle we call sen yai but this one sit like because it's smaller Side. And yeah. Now it is 10.48 p.m. on Sunday, April 12th. And I'm gonna go to bed now. Also, happy Easter to everyone. I did. Bye. I mean, good night. Good morning, guys. Today is April 13, and now it's 8.33 a.m. And it is Thai New Year. April 13 is Thai New Year's, and or in Thai, we call it Songkan. And we usually have water festival where we have like water gun and we play with people outside because the reason that we have water festival every year except this year is because it is so hot outside and it is summer in Thailand like now from like March to May it is summer and it is so hot like it is about 40 celsius outside 40 degrees celsius and yeah <laughs> Here's what I have for breakfast today. Half my chicken, half this fish sausage, Thai fish sausage, and then egg, and then mango, 
and rice with shrimp pears, which I'm not gonna eat with shrimp pears because oh, in Thai the shrimp pears we call it kapi. But and this one is normal rice, white rice, jasmine rice, and also I have salted egg too. Thai kim. Oh yeah, I forget. Fish sauce set in Thai we call it Gun Chiang. And the, this menu, these two, they call it Khao Hu Kapi. Khao means rice and cook means to mix with something. And Kapi means shrimp paste, which means the rice with shrimp paste. And the fried chicken is not its separate menu. It is called Kai Thot. Mm. And this is what? What? It is the Chinese kale with pork bone and boil. So in Thai we call this chap chai. And here is the cabbage with oyster salt and pork so this one is kalampi pat naman hoi kalampi mean cabbage and pat naman hoi is too stir fry with oyster salt I forget to mention I said Thai fish sausage but usually it, it actually not Thai fish sausage if you google Thai fish sausage it will be a different thing but if you want to get this one, like similar to this one, usually it actually make our pork. But this one, they use different recipe and make this one that with pork, change it to like fish instead. And when I Google it, they actually call the name of it Chinese sausage, not Thai. So I need to call it Chinese pork sausage. It's this one. Usually it's gonna be in red. Hold on. Here the color is like red, but this one is not because it make all fish, not pork like this one. And we call it gun chiang. This one is gun chiang mu, which means the sausage that make our not sausage. Gun chiang is like specific word for this kind of sausage. If you're gonna call other other sausage, it call sai gok, but this one is gun chiang. Mu, Gun Chiang is this kind of sausage with Mu. Mu mean pork, but this one is Gun Chiang Pa, Pa Salit, which mean Gun Chiang mean that sausage and Pa Salit mean this the kind of fish that they make, which it like different kind of fish. It it make out of this. It make out of this fish. Make sausage or make the gun chiang out of this fish. And yeah. I actually like this plan, but I don't actually know the name of it. Oh wait, I see something. See the leaf? It like have so many holes in it. I just walk out like in front of my house. It might get low now. I think because of like the sunlight, the sun is so strong here. It's like hot outside and the planet just turn yellow turn yellow. This one is so yellow. I'm pretty sure it have some plant seed too, but I don't know the name of plant seed. Like, why is it white like this? <laughs> Still can't figure out why.
say hi to my cactus. Hold on. I bought it last year in February 2019 and now it's 2020 already. If you are ready to. That's cactus. Like this one go the most. Like at first it come here and it's like this tall and now it's like bigger. Yeah, like the side of my hand. Yeah, and have like spi spiky here. And here's tiny cat us too. So I have the same thing for lunch at my breakfast, like chicken, fried chicken, the Chinese, but this one is fish sausage and mango and pork and eggs and this one same as yesterday, potak soup and this one is also have mango and the mung bean with in water in syrup in water and syrup and also by liang pad kai which is the vegetable with stir fry with eggs and the chicken grilled chicken so i'm gonna do this challenge from the book called like the challenge and we have to help someone uh, they told us to use 10 minutes to draw everything that draw everything that happened in life nothing wrong or nothing right um whatever come in your in our mind and just draw it on a paper we don't have to be like an artist or something to draw and just tell the story so i'm gonna draw something here i know i'm not i'm not good at drawing i know one thing and i'm just gonna draw something here on the side I go help them with like taking a photo and videos during the event like cause for speaker event and actual TED event and the reason I draw this jellyfish because last year during Songkhan festival I went to like Bang San which and they have aquarium aquarium there and I get to see jellyfish and it's so cute. And then, what else I can think of? I don't know where is the book. Um, and what else? What even? Oh, it's my freshman year too. Like, it's still. This is still my freshman year, I get to know in my major, agriculture major. I learn more about like agriculture and doing it international program, get to know a lot of friend. Friend, new friend, have new friend. And oh, I remember international food fair event. At that time, I hope taking a photo. I 
inhale down. Also that end gap, like the camp that I went to in August. and get to know a lot of friends and people <laughs> get to know new friend it was a lot of memory actually and at that time, I get to talk to new people and get to get out of my comfort zone. And That I can think of right now, cause it's fair. Banam, Banam event which we help. This one, the one that I said, oh god, it's 23 to 21. International, I think it's August 30 or 31st. I'm not sure. Maybe 30. Thirty or thirty first. And the Ted Eggset said was have two event was one in September 11, that one I remember. Call for speaker. And I was a videographer at that time. And December 1st, that one I also remember. Ted actual event, and I got to see Patty Master Chef. She's so cute. Master Chef Junior. It was a lot of thing actually. I did a lot of event. Get to know new people. Cassette fair. I almost passed out in this. I was so tired and it, it was so hot outside on this event. But thanks to my friend, a lot of them come help me and staying. It was really nice of them. I think this is what I can think of. Jellyfish is so cute though. In Bangsan Aquarium. They have more than just jellyfish. Have shrimp too. Have fish. Have something else. And on that day, I remember it's so windy outside. <laughs> it's almost gonna rain. In April last year, it on April 14. And today is April 13, but it different year yeah, because last year is 2019. Yeah. I didn't say a lot of agriculture here because I have cars, I get to do like general botany, botany. This one was a really hard cars too. I was like, I almost died, but I finally passed it. It is so hard, so I have to memorize a lot of things and study hard for it. And 
second semester have biology too and lab also and first semester have into to tropical agriculture have a lot of foreigner in this class for the intro to tropical agriculture have like exchange student and yeah that was like my ly for the year 2019 and i get to bake orange cake of course i got the like orange cake too banana cake or banana bread it's similar and this was a lot of fun so yeah this is my year in July I can't think of Usually people would pay the water gun and splash the water to people outside but today it is raining so at least it's not hot outside today. I just want to talk about the Botak soup that I told you that they have lemon gas. This one inside we have like purple texture here. Yeah, it's like this. The, the purple part is what we use. We only use like the, the lower part of the lower part of lemon gas, not like the not like the top part, upper part of it, because the smell, the aromatic that the smell of the soup will get from the lower part, not from the top part, not from the upper part. And then we have coffee alarm leaf which is this this kind of leaf it really it smells really good when we use it in the soap we will peel it like this and we don't use the middle part of it like this the stem we don't use it we only use like this leaf the actual one and we will like tear it a little bit in order to get the smell of the coffee alarm leaf or by makut by mean leaf and makut mean the name of the kapi alam so kapi alam leaf is by makut and i forget to say lemon gas is in thai we call it tak kai tak kai and then galangal so galangal we need to peel it off for galangal we need to peel the outside part with like a knife and then we cut it and we use the inside of it like chop it 
mm, and this one called ขา and we have ต้มขาซุป which mean กะหล่ำกาวซุป or some people might say white ต้มยำซุป because it make out of, of coconut milk but the difference between ต้มขาซุป and ต้มยำซุป is that ต้มยำซุป have chili paste in it and also have coconut milk in it too but this one don't have chili paste but have oh no shrimp chili paste for tom yum but for alangao soup they don't put the shrimp chili paste in it and they put lamb juice in tom yum soup also have it but for po tag po tag the difference between po tag and tom kha soup is that Po tag don't have coconut milk, but tom kha have coconut milk, and tom yum soup have coconut milk and also the chili paste that have shrimp in it have all that. Oh, in po tag also have the chili paste and shrimp in it too. Chili shrimp chili paste in it too. Or we call that thing nam kik p a o which mean the chili paste. This one is Thai chili paste that I call it. They also have shrimp in it, but like dry shrimp. This one is they put in tom yum soup and bok t a k soup. For tom kha don't have it. For the g a l a n g a o don't have it. g a l a n g a o soup don't have this. But but for making g a l a n g a o soup have coconut milk, but bok t a k don't have and. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Just call it Thai chili paste if you wanna make tom yum soup or t a k soup needed, but tom kha don't need it. มันอาจจะให้คุณภาพนมดีๆกว่ามันก็เลยเป็นควีนแล้วอันนี้โทเกนเบิร์กอันนี้จะเป็นสีเหมือนแบบช็อกโกแลตอะดูสีผิวมันดีแล้วก็หูมันสีขาวถ้ามองข้างหลังมันจะเป็นวายขาวแต่ก็มีสีเข้มๆตรงข้างหลังด้วยแล้วก็So it's April 14 at 5:55 p.m. and today I'm actually been cooking, studying, drying all my clothes, and do the laundry. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is April 15 and it is the last day of Songkran, the water festival. If they have one, but it's still like the last day of Thai New Year's. And people in Thailand, we celebrated for three days, from every 13 to every 15 of every years. And but this year, I didn't do anything to like celebrate it. Just stay at home, and yeah. And also, I forget to mention, I waking up at 6:30, and right now it is 7:30. So yeah. So here's l a m b u t a n I'll insert the picture, and yeah. So here's a, one thing. It is Thai snack, but in Thai we call it cookie Singapore or Singapore cookie. It it doesn't make from Singapore, but Thai people call it that way. It like 
I think it's because it's not like a usually Thai dessert we don't bake it and or sometimes we don't bake it usually we use like if you see like if you know what Thai dessert really look like you would see like it would look something like this like mango with sticky rice I still don't have mango this one is sticky rice with coconut milk but like this one Singapore cookie it's like a whole new level because we go bake it we use like a pastry we use all the first flowers butter in this cookie and it doesn't seem to be Thai but it actually Thai cookie but we call but in Thai we call it cookie Singapore which as I mentioned it means Singapore cookie and yeah the textures of it I'm just gonna open it the textures of it is like buttery and a little bit flaky but it and have cashew nut on top and when sometimes they go sell it outside of Thailand they would call this cookie cashew nut cookie instead of instead of like Singapore cookie because if you rename it that way people not gonna know what it is what is Singapore cookie so yeah. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe here and here is more video for my channel. Bye!